I recently uh, was asked to speak at St. Vladimir's uh, Church in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I was asked by Father Gregory Joyce to come and speak and address them. And my topic was about the imperatives of evangelism uh, in the United States. And the thing that dawned on me, ironically, was the sword cuts both ways. Uh, I think that we have an obvious situation where there isn't the desired outreach uh, specifically to the African American community as we would like to see. But I realize that there's also the other side of it where uh, those of us who are in the church already need to reach out to the African American community ourselves um, and really begin building those bridges. When you think about how hard it is to start school in September, a new school, you don't know anybody. Or you think about how hard it is to go to college. Or how hard it is to be introduced to a new group of friends. That's very intimidating. So imagine going to a place where people are doing things and wearing funny things and kissing things and you have no idea what's going on. That's intimidating. Right? So I realized that I think just as, in, just as much as the church as a larger body and institution, we need to do more in respects of getting missions and educating priests, educating them in the realities and the subtleties and the nuances of what is necessary specifically in urban missions, which is something that God willing, some deacon uh, Paul will be working on here pretty soon. Um, but not just with that education for our young seminarians and even those who are priests who desire to move out in, in that fashion. We also need to be educating our, our parishes. And we need to be educating our fellow brothers and sisters in our parishes about the difficulties of what that means. There's a whole set of things that we just take for granted. Educating the church, um, the day-to-day -day life. I can't stress enough how, from what I've seen, having a lot of godchildren in my own, having you know four and a half biological children in my own. What makes a difference for any Christian, but specifically an Orthodox Christian, to have that abundant life is a prayer life at home. And I think for a lot of us, we have the idea of get them in the doors, get them catechized, get them baptized, get them chrismated, and you know, it, it almost becomes a number game. And that's not sufficient. We need to be making disciples of people when they come to orthodoxy. Orthodoxy is about giving people that abundant life in Christ and His kingdom. We are introducing people to Christ, His Father, His Holy Spirit. We're introducing people to this, His Mother, the Saints, and we're introducing them to a whole new way of life that will give them real life. And that's not easy. And so that's what I would really encourage everyone with. I would also encourage us to, to pray. I think we talk a lot about prayer, and I wonder sometimes, some deacon and I were talking last night, and forgive me if I sound presumptuous, but whenever I see a problem, and I hear people talking about problems, my first thought is people aren't praying about it. We really take it for granted, and there's, there's a power there that we, I think, because we're so immersed in it, and we understand the form of prayer because we're orthodox, we, of all people, understand the form of prayer, but do we allow that to be a thing that facilitates a normal, um, a lack of basic attitude sometimes? We need, we need to be praying. We need to be praying to Abba Moses as a community. We need to be presenting our prayers to the other saints and, and really praying for God to begin to pour out not just mercy, and inspiration to the African American community, but really, first and foremost, to the Orthodox Church now, so that those who so that those who want to come in, they'll have a welcome place of hospitality. So this is what we need to really focus on, and that's that's my encouragement. That's what I, I realize is the sword cuts both ways, and we have our own house cleaning that we really have to do before we can really see any large movements.
So I, I would encourage, hopefully, this weekend will be a big discussion, you know, amongst ourselves and maybe even through discussion um, about how do we, as a church, not just talk about it, but what can we do to start making some of those gears turn, preparing the church for that revival of the African American community to come into Orthodoxy. What do we do? Because that's something that's we're not talking about. How do we do that? Thank you.